All right, everyone, here we go with step number 41. Give the divider selector a clear property set to right. This is going to clear the flow, pushing the divider and any following content down below the flow text. Okay, clear, right. And this is one of the most confusing concepts in all of CSS. And it's um, kind of an older way of doing things now, uh, using floats and clears. Um, those days, thankfully, are mostly behind us, but it still needs to be used sometimes. But even now, I don't fully understand it. Just usually it's, it's good to add clears, uh, clear properties to different elements whenever you have a problem like that and that see if it fixes it. After your last divider, create a P element and give it the text total fat, eight grams, 10%. Okay, so I'm going to copy this text because I don't want to type all of it out. I'm going to have a P. I'm not going to have a P. I'm going to create a P tag. Sorry if anyone was confused there. So now we have total fat. We need to wrap 10% in a span and set it to bold right. Okay, span class equals bold right and then close my span as well and there we go we see the 10% looking lovely over there on the right hand side but we do have a problem p element should have two span elements oh so total fat should be in a span element with the class set to bold okay so we need a span here as well span class equals bold and let's go over here and after total fat we need to close the span like that so total fat should be bold as well wonderful 43 below your element with total fat create a new p element text saturated fat after five percent in span with the attribute set to bold right okay i think Okay, we, we can't really copy here because we only have one span, so it's not going to be convenient to copy, but we're going to have a new P element. And we're going to copy this text, saturated fat, copy, paste, and the 5% is going to be inside a span. So I am going to copy this here, span class equals bold, right? I'm going to replace the 5% with that and just change the 10% to be 5%. Okay, wherever you can, copy and paste your own code is fine. Just try not to copy and paste other people's code. You should always be typing your own code. Right. Step number 44. This new P element will need to be indented. Give it a class set to indent. Okay. Class equals indent. And you can see we're using descriptive class names. This means that when other people read our text, it's very easy for them to know, oh, what does the class indent does? Well, it indents. What does the class bold do? Well, it makes things bold, right? Now, create an indent selector and give it a margin left. Okay, dot indent, indent, indent. There we go. Okay, and we're going to give our indent a margin left dash left and we're going to set that to 1 em and that's going to push the saturated fat in a little bit from the left wonderful remember margin outside padding inside mopey step number 46 create a daily value p selector and to target your p elements inside daily value and give them a border bottom okay daily uh don't forget the dot to select daily dash value space p now we're going to give them a border dash bottom one px solid solid and we're going to set that to hash eight 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 nine eight nine semicolon to close off that and now we're going to have lines under everything inside daily value. The 
bottom borders under daily value and saturated fat do not extend the full width of the label. Yeah, look at this daily value one. It's like just up here and then saturated fat too. So add a no divider class for these two elements. Okay, so class is indent and class is no divider as well. And we also want that on daily value. So no dash divider. So for those ones, we don't want lines. So next we're going to go into CSS and we're going to say no border. The not pseudo selector can be used to select all elements that, that do not match the given CSS rule. So above it says div not hashtag example. So all the divs that do not have the ID of example. Modify your dot daily p selector to include to exclude the dot no divider. Okay. So here we're going to add a colon and we're going to write not brackets dot no divider and close our brackets hopefully that is what they're looking for it looks like it is we've done it fantastic on step number 49 now you have to add separate dividers below your no divider elements your first no divider has a divider after it Create another divider after your second no divider element. Okay. So I think we can just copy this divider from up here and paste. And now we have a full width line. Fan dabby dozy. Step number 50. After your last divider, create another P element with the text trans fat zero G italicize the word trans by wrapping it in an i element given a new p element the class attribute set to indent no divider so that's a little bit complicated i'm going to open up a p tag here and we want to give it a class equals indent space no dash divider Great. Right. And we want to have the text trans fat zero G. Then close our tag P, close our P tag. And now we need to wrap the word trans in an italics element. So here, just an I tag. And that's an inline element, so I'm not going to go to a new line and then close my I tag after the word trans. So you can see down here, that's what I've done there. And you can see it's worked out for me. Wonderful. Okay, so that's going to be it for this video. We're going to go on step 51 in the next video. Thanks all of you for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.